hi guys thank you for joining me again for another video in this video it's another one of our study permit process tips where i'll be showing you how to create a profile in order to upload the documents to apply for your permit don't forget to like guys to share to comment and to most of all subscribe okay guys so we're here again um this is the home screen so you guys need to log back into your to your profile and come back on this screen all right and in order to begin the application we have to go ahead and check our eligibility all right and in order for us to start the first thing we select is apply to come to canada so this is a personal checklist usually it asks you if you have done your eligibility test before you can it will give you a code and you can enter it here but for this case we didn't do it so we are going to select that we do not have a, a reference code and go to the bottom where it says to determine your eligibility select visitors visa or study permit i will just answer the questions here in order to know if we are eligible to apply for a study permit so what would you like to do in canada study when are you planning to come you will select um temporarily but it's for more than six months select a passport so it's jamaica current country jamaica the next question do you have a family member or is a candidate citizen or permanent residence i selected no because i don't and then you enter your date of birth i'm just putting in some random numbers here and dates guys next then if you're a lawful permanent or permanent resident of us i am not i selected no next question if you've been accepted in a school you have to select yes clearly and then our next question is a marital status i selected married but whatever is for you or the province my school was in alberta so i selected alberta and then this says based on the results that i gave i am eligible to come to canada as a student you press continue it doesn't end there guys we have some more questions to answer in order to make that checklist that we're trying to create in order to upload the documents so let us select continue and move on so if you have a valid permit no we don't have one so we're applying for one so we select no and next are you exchange students no we are not if this one for work is essential it's for those who have co-op i didn't have a co-op so i selected no if your spouse or common law international students have status no my partner did not have status and if you are from all a participant in a canadian program no we are not we're just applying for a study program to come and study here and then if you are accompanying a family member no you put no for this because they're not accompanying or oh, selected yes that's an error so i change it to no then we go next and these are just the security questions i trust that everybody is able to select no and this is asking if you've done any medical i did not do any medical so my answer is no and if you've lived anyone in, in one of these countries You'd have to select um yes but jamaica is not on that list so we put no so that's why we don't have to do medical and they said doing certain kind of program and this is asking if you want to submit for family members that's if you're doing for your family i selected no because i did it for myself initially so it explains as if you guys select the question marks it will tell you what exactly it's asking so i selected no and we go next and then the other question is if you're giving permission i put no because i'm a boss and we're all unit ourselves so we put no for that one as well and we go next in the past 10 years if you've given your biometrics or fingerprints i selected yes for this because i have a, a visitor's visa so I, I would have done biometrics already for the ones who haven't done so you select no and move on and there are fees associated you have to pay the fees online so you select um yes for this you'll be able to pay it online and if you're able to make digital copies you have to select yes because you have to upload um your documents and if you'll be paying for your application you select yes for this you'll be using a card to do so and you go next and then these are all the answers that you gave you can always modify them if needs be 
say you decide to put your family member on it, you can change the question. So the checklist will change depending on what you um you enter. And then this here just gives you the steps and documents that, that you can use. So you can use PDF, JPEG, um, docs and other stuff. You can always read through this and you press continue. And here we are. This is your personal checklist, guys. Easy peasy. So you need to just fill out this application form here. And you upload your school's date of acceptance, your passport page, your proof of financial, fin financial support, the photo that you have taken, and your family information. And the part that said Schedule 1, this is where you have to apply for a visitor's visa if you don't have one already. But that's it, and the cost is $150. If you had biometrics cost as well, it would have shown you here. And that's it for this video, guys. In the next video, I'll show you how to fill out the forms and any additional details that might be needed in order for you to submit your application. Thank you so much for, for watching. Don't forget to like, to comment, to share, and to most of all, subscribe.